right, seventh grade, lesson 113. This one is on volume of pyramids, cones, and spheres. So I'm going to write that in the top corner. We're going to be doing pyramids, cones, and spheres. Okay, now, you've learned what volume is so far. Can you give me a formula of what volume is? Uh, base times height divided by two. That is the area of a triangle. Base times height that, times width. You're almost, yes, length times width times height. Uh -huh. That's if you were doing a um, rectangular prism. Okay? But there's actually an easier formula for volume that you need to know that applies to every single shape. Volume is the area of the base, whether the base is a triangle, a circle, or whatever, you're finding the area of that base times the height. Okay? So, for example, let's just do a real quick one. Okay, don't draw this on your paper or anything. I'm just showing you something. Well, let's say this was 10, 5, 7. Okay? Um, my base is what? 50. 50. So, the area of the base my base is a rectangle, so it would be length times width. So the area of this base would be 50. And then times the height would be times 7, so 50 times 7 would be 350. Okay, that's how you would find the volume. Let's try something a little bit harder. Let's say it's a, re um, a triangle, triangular prism. Okay, just pretend <laughs> like that's beautiful and everything. Okay. Now, um, let's see, uh, five, um, and then they're going to tell you the height right here on this base is four. And then if I stood this up, this would be the main height. Okay, so now stay with me. If I was finding the volume of this triangular prism, I would find the area of the base, and my base is kind of like the shape that you see, which is a triangle. So we're going to kind of like sit it up. Um, so my base would be a triangle. So in order to find the area of this base, what would I do? I would find the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle, area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the base is 5. The height of this base, this is base, we're finding this base, um, 5 times 4 divided by 2. 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. That answers just the area of the base. Okay? So 10 times 10. 10 times 10, which would equal, that's our height, is 10. So it would be 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay? That's just a quick review. Now, let's do this next portion. Pyramids. Okay? Pyramids will fit into a box. So let me kind of show you what I mean by that. Uh, here. I'm going to do my best. You know what? Uh, let's do it like this. And now I'm going to I'm going to try to draw this. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. There's my box. Now, inside this box is... I'm going to make these. Show you that's the inside. Okay. Um, inside this box is a pyramid. Okay. You see what I've done? Yeah. Does that kind of make sense? I didn't draw it real well, but I did the best I could. Okay. Now, here's what they tell me. Six centimeters. That's all the information they give me. Okay. Now. Uh, the pyramid at the right has the same base and height as the cube that contains it. Each edge of the cube is six centimeters. 
So this is six centimeters, this is six centimeters, this is six centimeters, even though I didn't do justice in drawing it. Okay, now, how would I find the volume of this cube? Let's talk about perimeters in just a minute. But how would I find the volume of this cube? Volume equals the area of the base times the height. Now don't pay attention to the pyramid for just a minute. Let's pay attention to just the cube. What is my base area? Area of the base. It's 36. Okay, my base is a square or a rectangle, so it's length times width, so it's six times six. So that's 36 centimeters squared. And then my height is six, six centimeters. Okay, so 36 times six is, you did it already, way to go, 216 centimeters cubed. Okay, that's if we're finding the cube. But what I want you to know is that a pyramid is, this is where I want you to take notes, a pyramid is one third of the volume. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This pyramid makes up a third of this cube. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to take our answer, 216, and we're going to do one third of that cube measurement. Yeah, which ends up being divided by three because one third, one third of two sixteen, go on and um, would basically end up being one over three and then two hundred sixteen over one. So this would be one times that, and then three times that, which would be exactly what you said. Okay, because we're taking one third of it. So two hundred sixteen divided by three is seventy two. Seventy two. So the answer to this. Pyramid is 72 centimeters cubed. Okay? Volume is always a cubed answer on the measurement. Centimeters cubed. Okay? Area is centimeters squared. Remember that? Okay, so you need to write this down. A pyramid is one third of the measurement of a cube. Okay? Okay. Alright. Now, let's do the next one. Okay, we're done with pyramids. Now let's do cones. Cones will be a lot easier to draw. <laughs> okay, so here's my cone. Okay, and this cone, uh, let me show you. What would this cone fit in? It would fit into a cylinder. Okay, so how would I find a cylinder, cylinder's volume? Well, we know that volume is the area of the base times height. Okay, what is my base this time? Well, we don't have any numbers yet. I know, but what is my base? What shape? The circle. The circle. So we're actually finding the area of a circle and then multiplying it times the height. Now, let me go and give you some information. From here to here is 20. 20 centimeters. And then from here to here is 30 centimeters. Okay, so if I'm going to find the volume of this whole cylinder, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to find the area of a circle and then multiply it by the height. Okay, so help me find the area of this circle. What is the formula for the area of a circle? Remember, area of a circle equals pi r squared. Do you remember that? You need to know that formula if you do not yet. Because on um, the ACT, it's going to be on there. So, area of a circle equals, excuse me, pi r squared. So, here's my circle, and I'm going to find the area of my base, which is a circle. So, area equals... Pi, which is 3.14, times, what is my radius? Um, well, if this is 20. Oh, okay, two, yeah, 10. 10. So the radius is 10 squared. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. 10 squared is 100. All right? And there's actually an easy way in math that you can do this. Since there's two zeros, I can just move my decimal when I'm multiplying times 100 two times. 
So it actually gives me the answer 314. You see that? Mm -hmm. So if the area of this base is 314, now what do I do next? Okay, so we've got our area of our base, which was a circle. So we found the area of a circle, which is 314. And now we need to find the rest of the volume times the height. What is our height? 30. 30. Very good. So I'm going to take 314. Can you do this for me? 314 times 30. And what am I going to get? 9,420. 9,420. So the volume of this cylinder is 9,420. But guess what? Cones only make up one third of the sphere. So you need to write that down. Cones take up, take up one third of the space of a sphere. So what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna do one third of 9,420. Remember, of and math means times, which that I'm going to put over 1. And then we're going to go 1 times this is 9420, and 3 times 1 is 3. So do that, 9420 divided by 3. And the volume is? 3,140. 3,140 centimeters cubed for this cone inside of the sphere. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the last one, um, I want to show you, whoops, I raised my thing, oh well, okay, so I'll show you something. All right, now we're going to do a sphere, okay, this would be like a big garbage can or even a Coke can, something like that, and we're going to put like kind of like a sphere, like a basketball inside of it. Okay. All right. That's kind of how they show it. All right. Now, um, here's what they tell me. That from here to here is 20 centimeters. All right. And then that's all they tell me. And they tell me that the cylinder is the same height as, let me make sure that's right, a ball with a diameter of 20 centimeters has a volume. Okay, so, yes. Let me make sure I'm right on that. Yes, okay, good. So this is the same um, height. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you what the formula is in just a minute because, um, if I were going to find the volume of this shape, um, I would do the area of the base times the height, right? Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Okay, so, um, yes, okay, so here we go. The area of the base, what is my base? What is my base? What shape? It's a radius squared. It's a circle. That's oh, my base. So if I'm finding the area of a circle, then I'm going to be doing pi r squared, right? Okay. Pi r squared, um, pi is 3.14. R, what's my r? Uh, 10. 10, good. Squared, which will be 100. Okay? So, um, 314 times 100 would equal 100, or 314. Now, my height, okay, is just the same. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So 314, and what is the height of this cylinder? It's actually you're supposed to show a basketball if it looked over me, but okay. So what is my height? Oh, 20. 20 and 20, both the same, okay, because the length of the ball is the same. All right, so I take 314 times 20, and what do I get? 314. 
6,280. 6,280. Now, tell me out. Okay, so we did 314 times 20, which equals 6,280. Now, that's if you were finding the volume of this cylinder, okay? But a sphere, and this is what you need to write down, a sphere is two-thirds of the answer of the volume of a cylinder. So, we're going to take two-thirds of 6,280. We'll put that over one, okay? So then two times that is, can you give me a number? I get it. Two times is 12,560. Okay, so that gives me 12,560, is that what you said? Over, and then three times one is three, so divide that by three. Of uh, 4,186.6666. Okay, so I'm going to put 0.6 and put a line over it, break a 10 bar, meaning that it keeps going on and on and on. Okay, good. So the volume of this sphere, not the cylinder, is 4,186.6. Okay? Now, they actually give you, you can, to me, knowing that a sphere is two thirds of it, knowing that a cone is one third of it, and knowing that a pyramid oh boy, <laughs> is one third of it. One third, one third, two thirds. Is easier than trying to know the formulas for everything. So if you know the formula is area of the base times the height, you can do any of these kind of problems. Okay? So you need to definitely write on your notes that a cone is one third of a cylinder, a pyramid is one third of a rectangular prism, and a sphere is two thirds of a cylinder. That's what you need to write down. Okay? But they do give us a formula for the volume of a sphere. And if you want to write this down and memorize it, that's fine. Okay? I actually don't like to use the formula because you get a whole bunch of formulas in your mind and it's hard to remember them all. But the way they came up with that formula is, is that it's pi r squared times the height. Remember base times height? The base was a circle. And then how they did that is then they went pi r squared times, instead of the height, we know that the height was the whole diameter, which would be two radiuses. This is just, if you, you don't have to memorize unless you want to. And then the volume would be, well, I have a two, and then I have one r and two r's, which makes three r's. So it would be two pi r, and since there's two here and one here, it would be three. And then we know that, um, we're doing two-thirds of that, so the final thing is this. To me, way easier to know what the formula is, and then we know that it's two-thirds of that. Okay? But you can memorize this. That is the volume of a sphere if you just want to just put the numbers in and figure it out. Okay? That's lesson 113.